Welcome back everyone to Grand Tech Communication. In this short video, I'm going to show you how we can manually add a mock-up logo. How, how to we can manually add a mock-up background to our logo, to our 2D logo that to make it look as if it's a 3D mock-up logo. You know we can mock up our logo using our phone with a particular with a particular website or particular application, which I'm still going to show you. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how we can do that manually that is importing a background mock-up logo now before we do that let us add some little effects and i'll show you something now let us add text let's add text i don't need code though I don't need code we can add code no but i don't need code let's click on text edit text now ground tech communication click on it then we edit it we position it now in this place i'll show you how to what download a custom font now let's use our font let's use this one can you see then change the words change the color you can also change the texture the texture is just like a color that is different from the color we have here we can we have a good texture now let's add a texture if you don't like it you can remove it it's not compulsory but if you like it you can leave it so let's just add it i'm going to send all this file alongside the video can you see, can you see what we have now enable can you see it looks somehow mature now let's what click on okay ground tech communication then what do you want to add maybe you want to add we want to add our number our contact now let's add what click on text now let's click on text now quickly let's do this for more info okay then I'll bring it here you click on what let's click on import we want to import our whatsapp logo Let's import our WhatsApp logo. Let's import our WhatsApp logo. As let's let's look for it. Now this is it. We click on it. Click on this and what reduce size. We want to put our WhatsApp number. Now let's reduce the size. Let's reduce the size. It's okay like this. Then what we position it. Where do you want it to be? It's okay. Now let's go and type our number. Let's type our number edit. Can you see? Okay. Then bring it to this place. Which color do you want to put? Add color. Click on add color. We add our color. Then we add font if 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 need be. If you want to add font we add our font let's use this then what that's okay now what next do we need what else do we need I want to add another word another content let's add our email let's import we have an email logo here let's import email logo so that we can add our our, our email so this is the email logo can you see click on this and what reduce the size also reduce the size then we position it to this place add text then what input our what email address let's input our email address then, okay can you see can you see the way i'm doing it now let's reduce the size of this one let's reduce the size of this one that's okay then we position it can you see let's reduce the size of this one too Let's take it. It's okay like this. Now let's position this one. Yeah. Now we can now add the color and the, let's add the color. Then the font. The font we want to use. Now no, we are okay with this. Let's just adjust it. Now you now see what I'm saying. 
Now, how do I now? Let me bring this to the middle. How do I, how do I now put the background that will make it look as if what is a mock-up logo? Now, I'll just I'll send the file to us in, in the in the video. I'll send it alongside the video. Now, just go to what go to import. When you go to import, then I'm going to what import that what that logo. This is it 3D wall logo mock-up. Now click on it. This is what it will bring. Now check it. Now this thing we need to adjust it to the size of what we are having. Now let us adjust it. Can you see the way I'm adjusting it? You adjust it so that it will cover all the parts everywhere. Let adjust it very well. Can you see we have adjusted now? Click on what send to back. Can you see what we are having? Now this is how a normal mock-up logo is going to look like. Now we have mock it up manually. Now next thing is to is that let us just click on this after i've clicked on it let's come to what let's come to 3d 3d shape you can you can check it then what we don't really need we don't need this well let's go back and click on 3d rotate now can you see it will be rotating it will be rotating can you see can you see what i'm saying can you see what i'm saying now it will go up it will go down can you see can you see Nice. Right, so that is how to what create a manual mock-up logo using your word pixel app. But if you want to create a, a, a good mock-up logo using an application which I'll be sending to you, you first thing you need to do is what convert it to PNG, which I'm going to be showing you in the mock-up video. Now we can now what let's say we want to match everything together. Let's click on this place and let's match everything together. Let's match everything together. Let's merge everything together. We click on what? We click on OK. Then we come back. Now we have my this together. Let's just make it good, good enough. Can you see? Can you see what we have? So so this is what we have. This is what we are having. So this is also what a mock-up logo, a manually made mock-up what mock-up logo. So let's just position. It. So in the next video, I'm going to be sending it will teach us how we can what create a logo, then convert it to a 3D mock-up. So I believe by now we know the difference between a 2D logo and a 3D logo. 2D logo is just a normal logo. You see how, how I created all this one. I did not click on 3D text or 3D logo. So it's normally is just placed normally on what? On this on this uh, background. But this crown tech logo, you can see it's it just look as if it's being placed on it. It's not it does it doesn't look like it doesn't look as if we write it. It look as if it's being placed on it. So that's the difference between what? In 3D logo and 2D logo. It have what more than two dimensions. That's why we call it a three-dimensional logo. So, thank you very much. In the next video, I will teach you how we can create a logo, a 2D logo, then convert it to 3D mock-up logo.